Welcome back to Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Working our way up the major leagues this time. Trying to make our way to the champ. Let's see how hard these major league fights are. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fixing for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then. So let's see who we're fighting. Number nine is the Tiny Spinies. Ellison, son, in this battle, I want you to use at least one special move. No problem. When I was making my way up in the minor leagues, I managed to get a level up on the final fight. So I should have full star power. It's going to make this challenge very easy. I'll just use a simple one in case I need to use a special move later on. So I'll use Sweet Treat or something. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Execution of the Great Gonzalez and the Thorny Demons. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's much pomp and circumstance to these fights. It seems to only be when you, you know, go up in the ranks or if there's a special story reason or something. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Sorry about that. A thing I've noticed that is very... Oh, man, there's a lot of people in the crowd with rocks. Yeah, a thing I've noticed uh, that I'm not used to, you know, as I take this journey of figuring out what the heck a YouTube creation is all about. If you record a bunch of stuff in a row, you get, like, crazy sore throat. <laughs> Just from the constant talking. Whoa, repeatedly tap R. It's a toughie. I have no idea when to do the special stylish flourish on those. But that went really well. <gasps> no, wait, it didn't. I didn't use a special move. Oh, I was so absentmindedly talking about YouTube creation. I'm a fool. Oh well, at least I get more money this way, so I get 11 coins each time. It's gonna be really good for my total coin count. Especially considering, well, before I had to buy um, some hot dogs just as, like, insurance. So I spent some of my money on that, but I have 113 coins right now, so that's pretty great. Okay, yeah, so I need to... Alright, so avoid using any items. That'll be much easier than me being forgetful about star points. And now on the plus side, I've got all my star power. I'm just looking at silver linings. That's the way I operate. <laughs> it wasn't a mistake. It was all secretly, in the long run, intentional. Because it helped me out. Okay, so, back to the spinies. They weren't that hard. I wonder when the special stylish flourish is for Mario's, um, not spin jump, quake hammer. I feel like it's when he's in the air at some point. Okay, I'm gonna do a gulp. Yeah. Sweet. And plus we get more experience points. Nice. Okay. Back to the dressing room. So now I get another 11 coins. Let's see what we got next. Number eight in the Glitz Pit, the Poker Faces. Special move, okay. Remind me to use a special move. You can't, but let's just pretend. Here we go. Hmm. I'm not recording as late as I usually do for this session. 
But I'm on a weird sleep schedule right now. But it's kind of my way. I mean, I've always, at least for the last 10 years, had a very strange sleeping schedule because I freelance, so I basically set my own schedule. So I kind of cycle around. And right now I'm in a cycle where I stay up until like 8 a.m. and then sleep during the day and then work all night which has been really great for these Let's Play videos because, you know, I, I do them very quietly and very calm and relaxed. Um, if I was maybe a more traditional Let's Player, it wouldn't work out because my neighbors would get real mad about all the yelling. Uh, but as it stands, it's really good because everything environmentally is very quiet. No one's walking or moving around or anything. Okay, so for these guys, I want to use Earth Tremor. Should mess them up pretty good. Yep. Nice. Ooh, they make a real clamor when they get hit. And that should do it. We're getting good experience points on these ones, too. Eight star points. I'm gonna need to refill my FP. So if there's another one where I have to use a special move, I might use a Sweet Treat to get some FP back. So we get 12 for that one. Oh yeah. Okay, so now I'm rank eight. Another email from X, perhaps? Go to the watering hole outside the Glitz Pit from X. Watering hole. Well, watering hole is slang for drink. So I'm gonna go to that juice bar that's outside. Because it could be that or it could be something a little more literal. Which would be like a fountain or like a water trough or something, but I'm pretty sure they mean the juice bar. So let's see. Oh wow, I wasn't even looking for that. Weird. Still don't know how to get that. Oh wait, can I get it if I'm on... Oh, you can't even jump and then hover. You just... Okay, let's go in the juice bar. use a couple extra coins, so I'll just bet on Rockhawk again. Rockhawk will never lose, unless Prince Mush suddenly appears, and that ain't likely. Hey, what's shaking, dude? Keep it clean out there. Prince Mush always did. Oh, you're Mr. Gonzalez. Yeah, that's the mustache I've been waiting for. Actually, you're pretty late. Somebody left a package and a note by the door a bit ago. The letter said, look for a thick-stashed man named Gonzalez and give him this. The this the letter was asking or talking about is this. Whoa, super hammer! Oh my god. Hey, it's me again, Tedette. It's so nice to see you again, Mario. Congratulations on getting that super hammer. It's way more powerful. Plus, you can also use a wicked cool new technique. Wanna learn about it? Sure you do. Let's practice. It's a little hard, but I'm sure you'll get it. Hold down B and rotate the control stick until your body twists up. Then release B to perform your super hammer technique. The key is to rotate a lot before pressing, before releasing B. Okay, so I hold B, and then I rotate, and then release. Cool. Oh, excellent, Mario! You're so awesome. You want to try it again? No, I got it. Okay, great. You've mastered the super hammer. Whoa! So now I can destroy those big blocks. That's pretty exciting. Oh gee, I almost forgot. You can use the super hammer in battle too. Try it. See you later, Mario. Good luck with your quest. So far as I could tell, that hammer's a new model. The Hammerwhack 2005. Oh, 2005, you guys. Were we ever so young? Real nice hammer all around. Solid craftsmanship, good grip, high bonk ability. The commercials for this thing say the hammer chooses its user. Was that a Harry Potter reference? 
They aren't cheap either, so whoever gave this to you must be a big fan. But why leave it in this juice shop? Doesn't that strike you as a bit odd? I mean, it's not like it's that hard to hit... Uh, that hard to hand a gift to a pro fighter. It's a bit of tricky wording there. Gonzalez, email time. Smash the blockade in the mi minor league locker room. The blockade in the minor league locker room, huh? Wonder what's behind it. I wonder what indeed. Let's find out. Next time. No, just kidding. <laughs> We're only ten minutes into this episode. I'm kind of variable on episode length sometimes. Um, generally, if there's a good stopping point at 20 minutes, I'd stop it. Uh, otherwise, I just go to 30 and try to keep that as a hard line. But I think later on I'd really like to try out some longer episodes, like for bonuses or something. So you're telling me that you have no idea who got inside? What do we pay you for? I'm awful sorry, Miss Jolene. I heard a noise in there, but I couldn't find anything. Hmm, <laughs> fine. Leave the rest of this matter to me. Go back to your post. And listen to me carefully. Do not ever tell anyone this, or I'll have your job. Hmm. You, Mr. Gonzalez. This is highly inappropriate. What business do you have here? Please, I must ask you to stay out of places where you have no business being. So, they definitely don't want me getting in that room. Interesting. Champion's room. Major League locker room. Am I not in the Major Leagues? What league am I in? Minor League locker room. Can only enter your designated locker room. Sorry, regulations. Hmm. Let's see if I can sneak my way around it by asking this sneak thief. Hey there, Gonzalez. How's it going? Me? I'm doing a little research. Hey, speaking of which, ever hear of the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit? Yes, this place has rumors and secrets in spades, but the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit are the most mysterious of the bunch. These things fascinate me, so I wander around doing research on them. Well, so how about it? Want to hear about the Seven Wonders? Sure. <laughs> Let's see. Which one do you want to hear about? Whoa. They say there's a sealed wall in the minor league locker room. Some say the remains of fallen athletes are stored in there. They say in one of the arena's bathrooms a man-eating toilet lurks. Some say that anyone who sees this toilet never sees anything again. What the heck? The stairs of mystery. They say there's a room in the glitz pit with a second floor, but no stairs. They say no one has ever gone upstairs, and some say that groaning voices sometimes come from that second floor. What else? What else? The haunted boudoir. They say that the champion's room is haunted. Some say if you keep still in the room, you'll hear voices whispering from nowhere. Some even say the voices are athletes who lost to the champion. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Spooky ring lights. My friend's friend's friend told me this one. He said he saw a strange light leaking under the ring doors when no one was there. He couldn't see inside since the doors were locked. I plan to investigate this myself. The missing ones. They say sometimes fighters disappear for no reason, never to return. Some say the very first champion, Prince Mush, was spirited away in this way. Hey there, Gonzalez. Okay, let's learn about the last secret. Grubba and Jolene. Grubba's a strange one. His body's incredibly toned even though he's past 60. He must have an exceptional training regimen. Then there's the matter of Miss Jolene. They say she suddenly vanishes at times. Some say a fighter saw her go into the bathroom and waited for her to come out, but she never did. Huh? You think it's stranger that someone st staked out to her bathroom? Good point. That is pretty strange. There's dripping water here for some reason. I'm not 
not sure why. So this is... This is a Major League Locker Room. Hmm. Got the word that you wanted to move back down to the Minor League again. Can't say I understand why. Anyway, go in. Huh. Perhaps this is the work of X. It's not such a satisfying sound. Ooh. How do I get that? Perhaps fluttering. Dubious paper. A letter that looks like it has lots of important stuff in it. Let's see about that. That whole computer case there. Whoa, Gonzalez, that's some kind of scientific paper on the crystal stars. Who'd be investigating those things besides us? They even took pictures. Who'd leave something like this lying around? This just reeks of funny business. It does, doesn't it? Hmm. You again. Mr. Gonzalez, what are you doing in here? This is the minor league locker room. Major league athletes are forbidden. Even if they weren't, it's hardly appropriate to bash down our walls. Hmm. Yipes. I'll just be confiscating this. Thank you very much. Hmm. Hmm. Dang, what's with her? We busted our humps getting that information. Some people just gotta rain on parades. Well, at least we know the crystal stars here. It's true enough. But where? I guess we just keep rising the ranks. Seeing what's what. I feel like that must be the man-eating toilet in there. Okay, let's keep going. Well, boy, had it, Gonzalez. Fix him for a fight, huh? Okay, next is the Shell Shockers. In this battle, I want you to avoid using... Okay, no flower points. No flower points. I can do that, it's easy. Is it easy? Actually, it might not be that easy. <laughs> uh, I'll use some flourishes and use my to blow them away with the ground shake move. That should work just fine. It's just a bunch of Koopas. At least I can stomp on them. Well documented. Okay, so up against the Shell Shockers. So-called Great Gonzalez. Don't think I'm going to take it easy on you, baby. Okay, let's get ready to free game battle. Okay, a couple of them have items, which is not fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to ground pound Shady Koopa. Yeah. The stylish. I think it's one of these lands. Whoa. Holy crow. So they get stronger when they're on their backs. That's intense. I'm gonna use Sweet Treat. Try to regain some of our power. Nuts. Ah, uh, I need all those precious bonuses. Okay, good enough. That at least gives us some of our power back. And ground pound again. Preferably on the guy that's already knocked over. Nice. Okay. Oh, there's nothing I can do to block this. So unfortunate. I 
really hurts. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use this on Mario just to keep him alive. Because if he goes down, it's all over and there's no point. And then I think I might use another item. Uh, electrifies us, temporarily puts all enemies to sleep. Blows a cold wind at all enemies and freezes them. Let's try putting them to sleep. Here come the sheeps. Oh, got one of them at least. Okay, normal jump. Kind of hoping I can get enough for- yes! I have enough for Sweet Treat now. The R button is so... <laughs> it's so squishy on a GameCube. Those of you who play GameCube will know it. Um, oh, my partner's down. This is going bad. I well, lots of HP for Mario, I guess. Let's see if I can hold out. Okay, okay, I think... I think I can do this. He's awake now. I just have to be extra careful. I can withstand another one of those attacks. Just keep doing stylish. <gasps> I got the triple! What does the star one do? Max everything. Well, that's good news. It's really sad that it doesn't revive my partner, though. But he should be revived. Yeah, he's revived now, I think. Alright, Gonzalez. Oh, look at poor Boshi. What the? Whoa, Nelly. I don't believe my eyes, folks. The Iron Adonis twins are in a rage. You made us look like suckers the other day, and now you're gonna pay for it. A little tired from your match, Great Stinkwad? Too bad. Prepare for pain. Uh-oh. Is Boshi... Oh, Boshi's down? Uh, this immobilizes all enemies. But I literally can't do anything without my buddy. Uh, this is tough. Wait, I have Super Hammer. So that doesn't do anything? Oh. <sighs> this is rough. This is very rough. Can I... I can run. Unsanctioned match like this won't affect his ranking, but hoo wee, what a beating. The gauntlet's been thrown down. What'll happen next? Who knows, but it'll be wild. Man, that's so unfair. Boshi was down. I need there to be an inn up here. Oh, wait, can I just use the bed? Am I a fool? I'm a fool, aren't I? What does X say? Keep sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong and you are dead meat. This isn't from X. Dude sounds peeved. I'm thinking that isn't our X, buddy. Who do you think would send something like that? 
Oh, I can totally use the bed. Man! Dummy. And that fully revives us. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, let's get to the bottom of this and more next time. Oh, I'm so peeved about that fight. <laughs> See ya.